Distant Stars added three new Leviathans to the game. The Scrapper Bot, the Matriarch, and the most elusive of the bunch, the Void Spawn. And today we're going to be talking about that third elusive Leviathan. The Void Star Spawn is rather random because it doesn't necessarily spawn on the map in any way, shape, or form that normally would happen. It's not like the Dreadnought, where it just randomly is in a system, nor is it like a dragon, which sits on a planet. No, the Void Spawn will make itself known once you have colonized its system, or at least have taken its system. You may have captured a random piece of space in a random system, and maybe even colonized a planet in the set system. In my particular case, there were two planets in there. Now, suddenly, the ground starts shaking, combined with the sound that sounds eerily similar to a heartbeat. So within a year of the colony settlement, the ground starts shaking even more, generating massive rift tiles on the world, and this can destroy planets and kill pops, and the planet itself will change visually, generating large cracks. Now you don't necessarily need to colonize the world, it will happen regardless as long as it's in your space. After a while, even more cracks start to appear, and now would be a good time to move your pop somewhere else, because there is no saving this rock. After that, it's time for the Genesis. It turns out that the planet was a egg all this time, just hiding in plain sight, and thus hatches the Void Spawn, the quote-unquote rarest Leviathan in the game, and it will attack anything in the system with its Pretty impressive missile weapons. Now, it has a massive amount of armor, as well as hull, clocking in at 120k and 130k respectively, but no shields. In its weapons, well, it does have a bonus to shields itself, but they do have a little trouble with armor. Now, it has six missile launchers, each fitted with standard explosive missiles that will shoot every five days, doing between 350 and 500 damage. Now we can exploit this fact, as this is a serious flaw. How do we do this? We add a significant amount of point defense to our attack fleet. This means it's finally, yes, finally time to bring destroyers onto the field. With the picket setup, we can add three pieces of point defense onto those particular ship designs and fit them in such a way that they can take two or three missile hits whilst destroying the Void Spawn's own missiles. This in combination with Plasma and Devastator Torpedo Corvettes, you should be able to kill this thing fairly easily with around 15 to 20k fleet power. Just make sure there is enough ping D in your fleet so it won't be able to hit you ever. 16 to 20 point defense destroyers should do the trick here. Now, the missiles themselves have 100 HP. The point defense does 6 damage per shot, so you can do the math there. Once you've killed it, you will be prompted with two options. One will generate a bunch of unity, and the other a special project, which allows you access to a unique technology that gives your empire a 5% bonus to energy. Now, I advise you to go for the latter, as it'll boost your economy quite significantly. And thus wraps up the event chain for the Void Spawn. The planet is lost, but at least you got a bunch of energy out of it. Now I want to thank Slime22 and RobDK97 from my Discord for uh, finding me a save file where I could find the Void Spawn because it is a little bit elusive. Now if you also want to become part of our Discord community, the link is in the description below. As well, if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to give it a like and or subscribe. And until next time, take good care of yourselves and, as always, each other.